But now it's Spain, and that means stronghold, long term, triple X hairspray. No f***ing around. <laughs> Welcome to my Euros show. Italy versus Sweden. It's bred into the Italians, isn't it? It's like they've literally turned defending into an art form. There's no other nation who can defend like they do. They soaked up the Belgium attack like a, a panettone. Panettonis are Italian, right? But this time, it's the Zlatan test, and he's already cast his first spell of the tournament by coercing Irish defender Kieran Clark to finish for him. It's like there's a Jedi force on the pitch when Zlatan's there. Did you see the way Kieran Clark just collapsed and lay on the ground? Zlatan did that. Zlatan flattened him. Czech Republic versus Croatia. Now Luka Modric has come out and said he's feeling real pressure from his fans. After creating literally a miracle against Turkey, he's worried that his fans now expect a miracle every game. He's basically saying he can't do that every single game. The Czech Republic will just be hoping to get out of their own half this game. Something they didn't really manage to do at all against Spain. Spain versus Turkey. Ozan Tufan, I'm with you. Don't worry. Sometimes we have to take care of our hair. And sometimes that means we miss out on the important things in life, like defending a game-winning goal in the UEFA European Championships. But now it's Spain, and that means stronghold, triple X, long-term hairspray. No f***ing around. Spain looked like they were playing with a 35-year-old up front. Don't get me wrong, they never look like they get hurt by the Czechs. But I'm convinced that Diego Costa and Fernando Torres are sat at home beyond frustrated right now. They could have done better. Belgium versus Ireland. Once again, I've been completely lied to by the FIFA World Rankings. Belgium, ranked second in the world, were completely buried by Italy. Considering their next opponents are ranked in 33rd place, maybe now we'll see Belgium play better. Now here's something that I love, but equally frustrates me. Some of the British Isles are playing with fire and passion, not England. We need some of what Wales and Ireland have. I've seen tons of Irish fans out here, and they are having the time of their lives. Can I say that I think Ireland don't have a hope in hell against Belgium? Uh. Ireland, hold on to that team spirit. You're gonna need it for this game. Iceland versus Hungary. The mystical Icelandics have arrived, and how wonderful that they brought half their population with them. Did you see the stadium? Like literally, there must be nobody in Iceland right now. Hungary pulled off a great result against Austria. I still think that if you have players with names like Zoltan, then you can do anything. And they've got two players called Zoltan. They even have an Attila. If intimidating player names were a competition, they've already won. Portugal versus Austria. Now Ronaldo still hasn't set the world alight in an international competition, but that'll be Iceland's fault. Let's blame them then, shall we? Clearly, he's a tad bitter and frustrated, but perhaps that will give him fire for this game. Austria were the dark horses. Now they're just horses. Romania versus Albania. Someone's going home here. They both came in as massive underdogs. They were both good in spells, but someone's going home now. Every dream has to come to an end. Miracles aside, it's the end of the road for Albania. Switzerland versus France. France's momentum is building, and the fans here are getting a little carried away with it all. France are rounding up the group stages here, and what a better way to do it than against their neighbours, the Swiss. Switzerland will give France a good game. This will probably be the toughest game they've had all group. In the news today, Zerdan Chakri has announced that he is done with Switzerland and wants to switch alliances to Kosovo. Slap bang in the middle of the Euros. Good timing. Adam Alana has come out publicly backing Roy Hodgson's decision to keep Harry Kane taking corners. You keep backing him, Adam. Smart guy. Bet Adam will start the next game. I'm done.